Are you considering buying a new construction home? Discover the top advantages and hidden pitfalls in this latest video. Positives and negatives of purchasing new construction. We'll walk you through everything from energy efficiency and modern customization to unexpected costs and timelines. Don't make a move without this essential guide. We'll start off with my favorite positive, number one, equity gain. And I must say this is the one that I'm most excited about, so pay close attention. When it comes to new construction homes, they often have a tendency to accumulate equity at a more rapid pace compared to resales. Imagine being an early buyer in a fresh community and you decide to invest in a single family dwelling. As a new construction progresses and more lots and spec homes become available, your equity starts to grow. Why? Because the builder will likely increase their price as demand rises. Let's delve into the hypothetical scenario where this new community consists of 100 residences with each new release, a lot or spec home, the price escalates in response to the market demand. Now, if you think back to a couple of years ago when multiple offers on same lots were a common occurrence, builders would often resort to a highest and best approach or even a lottery system to determine who gets the opportunity to make an offer on a particular lot. Now picture a newly constructed community with 100 homes where 90% have already been sold. That leaves only 10 lots remaining, and these final lots would naturally command a premium. If there's a surge in interest and demand, it's only logical for the builder to hike up the base price and the premium for these new homes, right? So in essence, being an early buyer in a new community can lead to significant equity gains. As development progresses and demand increases, it's a fascinating aspect of the real estate market and one that's worth considering if you're looking into investing in a new construction home. For example, I helped a client purchase a new construction home in a brand new community for 510,000 with a lot premium of 5,000. This was a little bit over three months ago in an area called Enterprise of Las Vegas. And I just recently helped another homeowner get this into the same community, but phase two for the same model, their base price was 525,000 and their lot pre premium rose to 12,500. So you can see how this equity happens. Positive number two, green home efficiency. They do this by way of technology and materials. This means that you'll have a lower monthly utility bill and more comfortable living environment. Energy efficient features such as installation, double pane windows, and energy efficient HVAC systems can help you save money on cooling and heating costs over time. There are also builders that offer smart home technologies, electric vehicle charging, solar panels, and even a Tesla. So make sure to check out the builder's offering and review all those with your realtor before you make a decision on which builder to go with. Before moving on to the third positive, I'd like to address common inquiry I often receive from various clients. They ask, what are your thoughts on arranging multiple inspections of a home during construction, such as the inspection after the framing stage and another before the final closing? Here's my response to them and my thoughts on it. I believe it's crucial to engage a qualified home inspector to examine your property before finalizing the purchase. Whether or not to conduct an additional inspection at the framing stage is absolutely a personal decision, but I strongly advise all buyers of newly constructed homes to arrange a professional inspection before closing, typically three to five business days prior to closing. I usually employ a skilled home inspector to scrutinize every aspect of the house, including plumbing, electrical systems, insulation, finishes, and hardware. The goal is to ensure that everything functions properly from lights to toilets with particular attention to insulation. This often requires a detailed examination of the attic and roof for any cracks or misplaced tiles. If the home inspector cannot physically access the roof, they usually use a drone to capture comprehensive images of the entire roof, focusing on areas that may need repair or adjustment. 
These findings are compiled in an inspection report, which my buyer and I review in depth within 24 to 48 hours after the inspection has been done. Unlike a resale inspection report, I send the complete document to my sales contact at the construction company, insisting that they address every issue after all when buying a brand new home, shouldn't it be completed to perfection? And regarding an inspection during the framing stage, this decision is entirely up to you. If you wish to have a professional builder, typically a general contractor, which is the one who inspects the framing process, home at this stage, I fully endorse this choice. I often accompany the superintendent during the frame walk, armed with floor plans and details of any structural upgrades, including electrical and plumbing enhance enhancements. This ensures that everything is positioned correctly. In conclusion, while I strongly advocate for a professional home inspection before closing, a framing inspection is optional and depends on your preferences and is entirely up to you as the buyer. If you desire that this extra level of scrutiny, I can certainly arrange it as I have a, an ideal inspector for both tasks. Positive number three. This pertains to personalization and customization. A significant benefit of acquiring a newly constructed residence is the opportunity to tailor the property to align with your individual lifestyle and the requirements of you and your family. In the process of purchasing a new construction home, collaboration with the builder enables you to choose your preferred floor plan. Select finishes, incorporate any structural or design enhancements, and add features that resonate with your personal preferences. This process facilitates the creation of the dwelling that is meticulously crafted to meet your unique needs and aesthetics. For example, you have a situation where you have a large family with several children. Rather than a loft on the upper level, an extra bedroom might be essential. In this case, the structural modifications would involve selecting a floor plan that accommodates this. The goal is to tailor the space to satisfy your specific requirements and desires. Now let's turn our attention to the contemporary finishes available. When acquiring a newly built home, standard flooring is typically provided. Often it's carpeting, because of course that's the cheapest, with tile in specific areas such as the entryway, kitchen, or bathroom. However, these towels are usually of a conventional design. If you wish to elevate the aesthetics, you might opt for hardwood instead of carpets, or perhaps luxury vinyl flooring that mimics wood but offers durability. For those seeking opulent touch, porcelain tile might be the choice. The Design Center offers a plethora of flooring options to suit your taste. An additional illustration pertains to the kitchen backsplash. Typically, the conventional design includes a 4-inch backsplash. However, should you desire a more comprehensive and visually striking appearance, you have the option to extend that backsplash all the way to the ceiling. This selection can be made at the design center. These examples illustrate the flexibility and range of options available to you when you customize your new construction home to reflect your lifestyle, aesthetic, preferences, and your family's needs. Positive number four, let's talk warranties. When you purchase a brand new construction home, you're not just getting shiny new floors and sparkling countertops, you're also getting a rock solid warranty. This is usually the standard on what new home builders offer, a one year on all the craftsmanship and materials and a two year warranty on essential stuff like plumbing, electric, HVAC, and a whopping 10-year warranty on the big structural elements of the home. And here's a pro tip from yours truly. Schedule a home inspection before the one-year warranty waves. If there's anything amiss, we can chat with the builder and get it fixed up before the clock runs out on that warranty. It's kind of like having a safety net for your safety net. Now, how cool is that? Positive number five pertains to the extended lifespan of the new construction homes. When investing in a newly constructed residence, one is not merely acquiring a fresh space, but also benefiting from the longevity of brand new systems and appliances. The HVAC system, a critical component in ensuring comfort within the home, 
typically has an expected lifespan of up to 15 years for a new construction setting. Similarly, new appliances with proper maintenance can be expected to function efficiently for about 10 years. These lifespans are generally longer compared to those in a resale home, because obviously the appliances and HVAC are used. This extended longevity is not merely a matter of convenience, it translates into tangible financial savings in the long run. By reducing the need for premature replacements and repairs, new construction homes offer a cost-effective and sustainable living solution. In summary, the longer the lifespan of a new construction homes, particularly in key areas such as HVAC systems and appliances, represents a significant advantage it underscores the value of the proper maintenance and potential for long-term savings, making new construction homes an attractive option for informed buyers seeking both quality and durability in their investment. Many of my clients and investors are drawn towards new construction due to these five distinct upsides in purchasing new construction. They recognize the value of acquiring a home that has never been lived in, complete with contemporary finishes and high energy, efficient appliances and systems. The combination of an extensive warranty, exemplary customer service, and potential for significant equity gain makes new construction an appealing option for both those looking to reside in a modern dwelling and those seeking a promising investment opportunity. If you don't know me yet, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Shane Judge, a real estate advisor, your go-to for all things real estate in the heart of Las Vegas. I specialize in helping people like you relocate, buy, sell, and invest in the vibrant Las Vegas and Henderson market. So if you've got your sights set on the greater Las Vegas area, don't hesitate to get in touch using the contact details in the description below. I'm here to make your real estate journey as seamless as possible. And while you're here, Go ahead and smash that like button, hit the subscribe, and don't forget to ring that bell so you never miss out when I drop a brand new video. Now with that said, let's continue. Negative number one this is the most vexing for me. It pertains to the uncertainty surrounding the budget when purchasing a new construction home. Initially, buyers are typically aware of the base price of the home and any lot premium. However, the costs associated with structural and design upgrades remain very less defined. When engaging with the builder at the sales office, they may provide expected costs for structural upgrades, such as elevations, room wall add-ons, added windows, sliding glass doors, pretty much anything that affects the structure. They will give you a price range for design upgrades. It's not uncommon to hear estimated ranging from 10% of the base price, often considered a conservative figure, all the way up to as much as 30% of the base price. These percentages can vary widely based on individual preferences and market trends. It's important to note that the precise total for design upgrades will only become clear once the buyer visits the design center and undergoes the comprehensive an exhausting process of selecting all the desired upgrades. Therefore, it is strongly advised to approach this phase with a well-defined budget in mind. The experience at the design center can be both exciting as well as overwhelming, akin to a child at a candy store. The array of options, the allure of the top tier finishes can lead to selections that exceed initial expectations. When the final tally is presented by the design consultant, Many buyers find themselves surprised by the cumulative cost of their chosen upgrades. In conclusion, having a clear and realistic budget before entering the design center is essential. It serves as a guide principle, helping to navigate the myriad of choices, ensuring that the final selections align with the financial constraints and investment goals. This approach fosters a more informed and satisfying purchasing experience aligning the dream home with fiscal responsibility. Because when you step into the design centers, it can get out of hand very quickly. Negative number two can be the most significant challenge with new construction homes. It's the unpredictability of the completion of the timeline. 
While builders provide an estimated completion date, various factors can introduce delays. For individuals relocating, especially from different states, adhering to a specific timeline is crucial. Whether for employment or aligning with a school year or something along the lines of that, timeline is very important. Delays can arise from weather disruption, supply chain issues, or unforeseen events. During periods like the COVID pandemic, supply chain disruptions were particularly pronounced, affecting the availability of essential items like appliances, HVAC parts, water heaters. Such delays can postpone the final inspection and issuance of the certificate of occupancy. Now, effective communication is paramount in this navigating these challenges. Regular check-ins with the builder sales team and the construction superintendent can help anticipate and address potential delays. For those relocating, especially from afar, any deviation from the timeline can have cascading effects, including rescheduling, moving trucks, and finding temporary housing. As a professional, my primary goal is to ensure a smooth and stress-free relocation process for my clients emphasizing proactive communication and contingency planning as things happen. Negative number three, absence of certain appliances and additional costs that come with those absences. When considering the purchase of a new construction hall, it is essential to recognize that certain appliances and features may not be included in the base price, specifically standard appliances such as refrigerators, washers and dryers are often not part of the package. Now, while you're touring a model home may provide a glimpse of fully equipped space, it does not necessarily reflect what will be included in the actual purchase. Unless explicitly negotiated with a realtor as part of the appliance package, buyers should anticipate the need to purchase these essential appliances separately. It's advisable to plan for these additional costs and to consider strategic timing for purchases. For example, waiting for a significant sales event like Memorial Day weekend, July 4th, or Black Friday can lead to substantial savings on appliances. Beyond appliances, other considerations include light fixtures, window coverings. These elements too are typically not included in the base price of the home. Buyers may choose to select to purchase these items through design center appointment, or source them out independently. Whether it's pendant lighting for the kitchen island, a chandelier for the living room, or window treatments ranging from blinds to shutters or drapes, these selections will require additional budgeting because they can add up real quick and get real expensive really quick. Now, how do you all feel about new construction homes so far? Are you all for it or do you have your doubts? What is your experience with new construction? Please let me know. I'd love to hear everyone's experience and engage with them. Negative number four, SIDS and LIDS. These acronyms refer to specific fees associated with the development and understanding them is essential for informed decision-making. Now SID, this stands for a special improvement district. This is a designated area where specific improvements are made and the costs are paid by the property owners within the district. The goal is to fund projects that directly benefit the local community. Now LIDS, they stand for a local improvement district, not much different. Similar to SIDS, LIDS are used to finance public improvements in a particular locality. Costs are typically assessed based on the benefit received by the properties in the area. New construction homes are often situated in newly developed regions that may lack essential infrastructure and amenities. Season Liz serves as mechanisms to fund these necessary enhancements, contributing to the overall quality of life in the community. Examples of projects funded by Season Liz include the construction of new roads, installation of traffic lights, development of community parks, and even the expansion of freeways. And yes, sometimes the community factors into you, the home buyer, purchase. These improvements not only enhance accessibility and safety, but also contribute to the aesthetic and appeal and functionality of the neighborhood. Now, the cost of citizen list can vary widely depending on the scope of the improvements and the specific area's needs. Generally, I've seen these fees range from $7,500 to $15,000 per home. 
and are paid semi-annually usually. Last but not least on our list of negatives is unfinished backyard and new construction homes. When purchasing a new construction home, one aspect that often surprises buyers is the state of the backyard, because it's just a blank dirt. <laughs> Unlike the interior of the home, which is usually finished to varying degrees based on the chosen package, the backyard is typically left as a dirt lot. This presents both an opportunity and a challenge. The opportunity, of course, is for customization. A finished backyard is a blank canvas allowing home owners to design and create a space that aligns with their preferences and lifestyle. Whether your vision includes a swimming pool, spa, landscaping with turf, or a covered seating area for barbecues, the possibilities are extensive. This customization enables the creation of a unique and personalized outdoor living space, but we must factor in budget considerations. While the opportunity to design a dream backyard is exciting, it also requires careful budgeting. The cost of transforming an unfinished backyard can vary widely based on the chosen features and complexity of the design. Homeowners should allocate a specific portion of their budget to this project, considering both the desired amenities and any community or homeowner association requirements. So you gotta factor in, you gotta ask your homeowner association if you can put that waterfall in the backyard. Timeline and approval process. Most communities and HOAs have guidelines and timelines for completing backyard improvements. These can range from six months to a year from the purchase date. Adhering to these timelines is essential to remain in compliance with the community standards. The approval process often involves submitting a detailed rendering of the proposed backyard design to the HOA. This rendering must include specifics such as the type and name of any landscaping, plants, or flowers planned for installation. Then the HOA will, will review the proposal and there may be a period of back and forth communication to assure alignment with the community guidelines. Now, working with contractors can be tricky. Identifying and working with contractors is another essential aspect of the process. Selecting reputable professionals who understand the community's requirements can streamline the project and help avoid potential pitfalls. Now, if you're hungry for more insight about making the move to fabulous Las Vegas, don't miss out on a wealth of information in my other videos. I truly appreciate your time and joining me on this journey. Don't forget, there's plenty more coming up. So I can't wait to catch you in the next one. Keep exploring, stay curious, and thanks so much for watching everyone.